Okay, hello everyone. Um, welcome to the technical run for the 11th Junior Youth English Debating Championship. My name is Yuan Li, the tournament director of this championship. So um, to begin with uh, the first step, what we're going to do is roll call. So 이번 technical run 시작하면서 먼저 roll call을 시작을 할 거예요. 그래서 지금 제가 technical run 카톡방에 투표창을 하나 올릴 거예요. So now I'm going to upload a poll in the technical run Kakaotalk open chat. So what I ask is that only one person from the team, okay? It could be the contact person or it could be the team leader, but I should see only one person clicking all presents if everyone's here and some missing. So it's just a practice of the roll call. So I'm going to upload a poll now. I expect that only one person from each team to select it, okay? I will give you um, around three minutes to select the poll. Yes, very good. Yes, everyone is doing great. They're voting on the poll. Okay, now we're going to end the roll call now. We have 31 teams here. Okay, without further ado, we're going to proceed to the technical run. So this is how we're going to do roll calls throughout the day. So in prelim rounds and in elimination round, this is how we're going to do the roll call, okay? So now I will briefly go over the technical run and I'm going to now share a PPT. And if you want to have access to the PPT, I'm going to tell you where you can get the PPT. Okay. So when you go to this Google website, so this is the Google website, right? Here, I have uploaded this technical run PPT. So if you click this, there is this PPT that I'm going to um, go through now. So you can use this to follow along with me. So let's begin with the technical run right now. Okay, so let's begin. Okay, welcome to the technical run. This is how the technical run is going to flow. First, I'm going to briefly go over the important parts of the tournament, TD briefing, and then we're going to move on to device setting simulation. So we're going to show you how you need to set up your devices. And third, the chief adjudication panel is going to deliver important words about the tournament. So let's begin. So as an introduction, um, as we have this online tournament this year, it's different from what we have been conducting before, we have these communication channels. So here you see this Google website. This is the most important um, channel that you need to always have access to. So this is the website that I already showed you. And the second important channel is the Kakaotalk open chat. So this is where there will be roll calls and announcements. So these two, you need to always have access to it. So when you're not doing preparation or when you're not debating, you will be able to use your cell phones to access the Kakaotalk open chat. You will have access to notebook computers so you can use these channels. But when you start, when you start preparing for the debates, when there is a motion release, from that time onwards, until the adjudicator dismisses you after the oral adjudication. So during those times, you're not allowed to use the smartphones to access these channels. A third channel is email. So ytm.online at gmail.com. This is the official email address that we have. And then lastly, we have cell phone numbers. So if you have any inquiries or any problems during the tournament, you can call with these numbers. There are several debate platforms that we use and 
um, we're going to use a platform called Zoom. There is a Zoom main hall and a Zoom debate hall. Okay, so in Zoom main hall, it'll be where there will be announcements. And then there will be individual Zoom debate rooms. You will have new rooms every round. In one debate room, there will be an adjudicator, a one government team and one opposition team. So after that, after finishing your debate, you're going to go to Google Forms to submit a judge feedback after each round. So there will be a new Google Form link that is uploaded on the Kakao to open chats and only one person is going to fill them on. So now I'm going to go over one by one. First is the Google website. So this is where you can have access to Zoom main hall links, inquiries and complaint form and important files like these and the current status. So the current status is going to be uploaded in the announcement banner. Here is the announcement banner. So this is an example. So when there is round one that started, then I'm going to upload round one debate started at 10. 1라운드 10시에 시작했습니다. So as we do not have a parent waiting room, um, the announcement banner will be frequently updated to inform parents and teachers of the tournament progress. So you can just see this banner to check and you'll know that, oh, this is the current tournament progress. And then we have the contact information here. So let's have a look at this website together. So this is the Google website that I just showed you. Tournament information. I have uploaded a lot of announcements here, the technical run, the Zoom links, the PPTs here, the information packet, the team list is here. There are these important links the first important one is inquiries and complaint form. The second is find your room. We also have rule books and technical guides here and Zoom instruction. So you can um, find all the information here. So let's take a look at this um, inquiries and complaint form. So this is how this um, inquiries and complaint form looks like. Mm, wait. So this is how it looks like, and you can submit inquiries like questions about the tournament before or during or after the tournament. And if you want to file a complaint form, this is the complaint form. So you're going to type um, an email address. So you can type, you need to type a valid email address, and then you select the league and then you write the team name. So if it's team name, you're shooting star, you're gonna type and you're gonna write the name of the debater and contact information. So we can um, call you or um, yeah, send text messages through this and then type of inquiry. So first is inquiries about the tournament. So if you wanna ask about certain positions or what you need to do in certain times, you can ask through this or if you have any complaints about the opposing team or complaints about judge. So let's say I have a complaint about the opposing team. You'll be directed to this page, complaints about debate or judging. So you need to specify the incident that happened during a particular debate round. So who is individuals or the teams involved in the incident? So if it was the opposing team, you'll write, the name of the team and what was the incident. You also need to write something related to a supporting evidence to back up the claim. So you cannot just say, oh, that team was bad, that team was blah, blah, blah. You need to have a specific evidence to say that, oh, because of these reasons, because of these evidences, we want to file a complaint for. And then you need to click submit and then it's done. So this is how you can file a complaint form. So back to the slide. So this is where you can have access to the inquiries and complaint form. So um, this is already uploaded in the technical guide. 
And this information is directly quoted from the rules for the Whiting Hut Junior Youth English Debating Championship. So the, this content is already in the rules that's on the official YTN Hubs website. So um, a team may raise an inquiry or complaint through this Google form. This is the link to the Google form about a judge opposing team or the championship itself. So to submit a complaint, teams must be able to provide evidence and any complaint about the adjudicator should be made within 12 hours of the alleged incident giving rise to the complaint. So within 12 hours and upon submission, it's not like we are going to go, we are going to go through all the complaints. And after that, the executive committee will evaluate the validity of these complaints. So if complaint is deemed valid, there will be internal investigation on this issue according to the procedure mentioned in the rules and the team will be notified. So this is basically the inquiries and complaint form. However, we ask you to always respect when you um, submit a Google form or when you send an email to the organizing committee. Next, we're going to move on to the debate platforms. So this is the Zoom that we're currently using and there is this microphone functions. So if you click this, you're going to mute it. If you click this, it will be unmuting. So currently everyone here is on mute. So everyone is muted now and my microphone is on unmute. That's microphone. And there's also the computer sound, right? So there is this computer sound. Um, why do we s explain this? It's because you need to know that there should be one device where the computer sound is off and then one other device where computer sound is on. So the debate platforms about Zoom is this. First of all, as everyone is currently doing so well, for general league, you need a bracket G and a team name. So the example that we're using is Shooting Star. So if general league Shooting Star team wants to join the Zoom main hall, they should check if the Zoom name is G, Shooting Star, and then camera number one. So that's the first camera. The first camera captures everyone, the three of you. So currently, um, in, currently um, in the audience, I see that some people already have three people in one room and the camera captures three people. So that's the first camera. You must capture three members in the camera angle and the microphone has to be on mute. Computer sound off, okay? Mute and then off. Of course, the cameras have to be on. And then if shooting star team has a second camera, they'll have G brackets, shooting star, and then number two, so second camera. So that second camera is going to be called podium camera. So like you see here, and how my camera only captures me, it captures the current speaker who is speaking. The microphone is going to be on mute because the current speaker needs to deliver their speech and the computer sound will be on. Now moving on to the debate platforms. Before that though, these cameras, the first camera captures three people. The second camera captures the current speaker. However, when it's preparation time, there will be no current speaker, right? So please set these cameras to be capturing the three people and their papers and their pens on the desk. So it's already mentioned in the technical guide of how these two cameras need to capture the debaters who are preparing on their desks. And then when it's time to debate, the cameras will be adjusted to the second camera being podium camera and the first camera to continue to capture three people. Moving on to the procedures. So when it's the start of round two, for example, there will be a roll call. 
So this is the roll call that happens in the early morning. We have roll calls for every round. So round one, round two, round three, round four. So if it's round two, you'll have round two roll call. If it's round one, you'll have round one roll call. After a roll call, after the poll is closed, um, after five minutes, and if everyone's there, we're going to move on to matchups. So matchups are going to be shared through Zoom. So this is the Zoom main hall and the chief adjudication panel is going to share the slide, a draw for round one. So this is a sample matchup that I created and here you'll see the room number. Okay, so this is the room number. So it could be YTN's eight, YTN 10, YTN 16. So these are room numbers. These are the teams, and these are the opposition teams, and this is the adjudicator. So for example, if my team is polar bears, I'm going to write polar bears team and the room number YTN08 on your clean A4 sheet of paper. And I'm going to also write the adjudicator name. So Esther Young is my adjudicator. So if you see the draw, you need to write them down Okay, you're going to write them down, the room number, your team position, government, the adjudicator name, Esther Young. Okay, um, this draw will be also uploaded in the Kakao Talk open chat, so you can also check there. So what happens after that? So after you did this, you are going to find your room. Okay, each team goes to the Google website, find your room menu. So let's go now. So this is the website, right? We all know this website. Here is this menu called Find Your Room. So like we did in offline tournaments, it's now time to find your rooms, right? So my room was YTN08, Esther Young. So my team, Polar Bears, will check here. Oh, it's YTN8, Esther Young. This is the Zoom link to follow. So what you do is, you're going to copy, okay? And then paste it in the browsers. And then it says launch meeting. So you'll click this and then you'll be directed to the meeting. However, you'll see that if I click this, then I have to exit from the main hall, right? So when you checked your matchups, you need to get out of the Zoom main hall and then go here and then find your room. And then you'll be able to open your, um, your room for the, tour, for the next round. This is how you can find your room. In the home page as well, there's also a link here, important links. So this is to find your room debate, okay? So if you click this, you'll be directly moved to the spreadsheet. So this is the spreadsheet. Everyone's oh yeah, already checking. Jan Gallas, Jun Bong Kim, Ji Hee Yoon, Esther Yang, Helen Kim. So this is the sheet. Actually, if you go to this menu again, find your room. And if you click this, you will be directed to the spreadsheet as well. This spreadsheet is not going to be changed so it will be permanent for prelims, it will be permanent for elimination, so you can always access this website. It will be uploaded, this is just for the technical run. So this is how it's going to go. So I am going to copy and then move to the rooms. So that is how you can find your room and then join the Zoom debate rooms for the next round. Okay, I already showed you that this is the find your room. You need to copy, paste on browser. If your debate room is white in 10, you will copy this. You can click this button. So we're gonna do a practice in the end. So you'll all be able to try this out. So when you're in this Google spreadsheet, you need to check if this is the correct room number. So if my room number was white in zero two, if my adjudicator was Jan Gallus, I check, oh, the room is correct, the adjudicator is correct, and then I click this Zoom link to access the debate room. 
Okay, so this is how we proceed to the Zoom meeting rooms. So after that, in the Zoom debate rooms, what we call it Zoom debate room and the Zoom main hall. Okay, so in Zoom debate rooms, you're going to prepare and then you're going to have this debate round. After the debate is done, the adjudicator will take some time to evaluate the debate. Okay, around 10 minutes or 15 minutes. So teams must mute. Um, they should um, not leave the room. They should stay there and then wait. And after receiving the feedbacks, teams go to the Zoom main hall. Okay, and then after that, you're going to submit a judge feedback form through this Google form. So each team must submit only one feedback form, okay? So like you do in offline tournaments, you have a debate, you go to main hall again, and you submit a judge feedback form. So that's the same procedure, it's just that it's done online. So what is this Google form? I'll show an example. So if you click this link, it will be directed to a sample Google form. This is how it looks like. So round zero, team to judge feedback. So you're going to click the link. This link is going to be uploaded in the Kakaotalk open chat, okay? So after your debate is done, you will see this link on your Google chat, on your Kakaotalk open chats. So you just click it. So let's try to click this, okay? And let's move to this page. So this is the team to judge feedback. It says you need to provide a score from one to 10 to your judges. 10 is the highest and one is the lowest. Let like the specifics are written here, okay? So you write email address, your team name, and then you select each room you debated in and the scores and the comments. So this is how a judge feedback form looks like, and it will be new every round. So if my judge was, let's say Jan Gallus. So let's say I debated in room YTN02, my judge was Jan Gallus. So I click Jan Gallus, and then I give the score 10. I'm going to write comments. If you don't, you can just leave it black. So if this is the, um, this mark shows that it's um, mandatory, but this doesn't have that mark. So comments are some things that you could write or you could just skip. So you should um, always click this yes and then submit and then your judge feedback will be submitted. Okay, so this is how you need to submit your judge feedbacks. Now we are going to move on to the next part, the tournament schedule. So this tournament schedule is found in the, this is the website. This is the schedule. So this is the schedule that you can see. Okay, so it's slightly different from the one in the official website. So please have a look at this. So over here, um, roll calls will be conducted in the Kakaotalk open chat. And then uh, we're going to look if everyone is visible in the main hall, okay? So even if you say that, oh, my team is here, my team is here, everyone's present. So after five minutes, the poll is going to end and the CAP is going to check or the TD team is going to check if everyone is visible in the camera, okay? So that's how the roll calls will be conducted. And opening remarks announcements will be conducted in the Zoom main hall as well. Round one prep. Round one debating, it all happens in the debate rooms. So it's all written here. Um, during lunch and during break time, your camera can be off and your microphone can be off. For the elimination, um, it's pretty much the same. You have roll calls, you have announcements and you have the debates happening in the visual debate rooms, main hall, debate rooms, and then, and then after lunchtime, the EFL semi-final teams are going to arrive. So this is the schedule that you're going to follow. Now I'm going to um, go over some of the rules to be kept during the preparation time and also during debates. First of all, each team must prepare 
20 blank white A4 sheets per round. So here it has to be blank, like nothing should be written. It should be white. We do not accept any colored papers. Please um, prepare white A4 sheets. And because there are three people, we ask you to prepare around 20 to be enough. And there should be nothing written on the papers. And you're not allowed to use other paper materials. You cannot use post-its. You just need to use the A4 sheets of paper. Second, when the preparation time for each round starts, teams are not allowed to use any electrical devices other than the two devices used to capture themselves. Meaning that other phones and tablets should be turned off from preparation time to the end of oral adjudication. Okay, so some of them people will wonder how do we check a call to open chat? How do we do Google form? Okay, that happens after oral adjudication. You do not need access to your phones during debates, right? You don't need them. So just turn them off. So last time um, some phones rang in the middle and we had to uh, warn the teams, right? So this time in this tournament, we ask everyone to turn off their phones and tablets. And if a phone rings during prep time or debate time, we will need to, um, we will need to give measures to those teams because that's against the rule, okay? So please make sure that the phones and tablets are turned off. And you may not use internet during preparation time, okay? So these rules need to be kept during preparation time. And also, you're not allowed to use wireless Bluetooth mouse, okay? So for example, um, so currently I have a wired mouse, okay? So these wired mouse, you can use them per computer. But I also have this um, Bluetooth wireless mouse. You cannot use these, okay? This is to prevent any issues regarding cheating. So if a team is using wireless Bluetooth mouse, we may not really know what you're doing with those Bluetooth mouse. So please do not use them, okay? It's strictly prohibited. Please use wireless, wired mouses, okay? So those mouses are okay to use. So moving on, next rule is about um, asking for clarification. So if you have any questions regarding the motion, you can ask for clarification in the first 10 minutes of preparation time. So when you move to the Zoom main halls and when you move to Zoom debate rooms, only when you're in the Zoom debate rooms, you'll have access to motions, okay? The adjudicator releases the motion. So you need to ask your adjudicator if there is any questions to ask about the motion, okay? So after that, the adjudicator is going to deliver the question to the chief adjudication panel, and then you're, you'll be provided with the answers to your questions, okay? So that is what you need to do. And next, debaters should not engage in verbal communications with anyone beside the team members when they're in the debate rooms. So please lock the doors, please do not let them open. And another person who's outside of your team should not come and enter or exit the room, okay? So debaters should not engage in verbal communication. So nobody should be in the rooms, okay? No one should be there. And about going to bathrooms, I wrote here that teams can ask for bathroom breaks before the adjudicator releases the motion. So once adjudicator releases the motion, you are locked in the room. You cannot leave the room. Please do not leave the room. So during break times, please, please, please go to bathrooms, okay? We ask you to go to bathrooms during break time and please do not go to bathrooms when the adjudicator has released the motion, okay? Please do not leave the room when the adjudicator releases the motion until the end of the judge's oral feedback. So this is to prevent any issues regarding cheating. So if once you try to go out of the room, 
the other team, the opposing team, may charge you with those com with complaints because they can expect that, oh, that team is going to ask questions about the motion, okay? So we want to prevent all issues regarding that. So please, we ask you not to leave the rooms. And that's a very strict rule that we ask everyone to follow. Moving on to rules during debate. We've already told you that teams should refrain from touching the devices. You do not need to touch your laptops, tablets. It, you just need to make sure that the camera is on and the microphone is properly turned on. Some people already ask questions about this. Then how do we unmute and mute? How do we, you know, ask POIs? We already told you that the second camera, the podium camera's microphone can be turned on and off. So if you're, it's your turn to start delivering your speech, you're going to move towards the podium camera. You're going to click with the mouse, unmute, and then start to deliver your speech. Your speech time is only counted when you first speak, okay? So do not care about that. And oh, even it happens for the POI as well. So if the another team has accepted your POI, you walk towards the podium camera, turn on the unmute button, deliver your question. Once you deliver your question, that is when the time is going to be counted. Okay, so 15 seconds. So please do not worry about that. Just go towards the podium camera, unmute it, and you will be able to deliver your POI within 15 seconds. So please refrain from touching the, the, you know, your keyboards or mouses when it's unnecessary because the adjudicator is going to monitor, your opposing team is going to monitor, and when they see things suspicious, they're going to ask, you know, they're going to file a complaint, so please, let's not do that. I've already told you that you're not allowed to use wireless Bluetooth mouse throughout today. And debaters are only allowed to use single function digital stopwatches. So the digital stopwatches that you use for debating. That does not have any other functions. Also, debaters must not at any point of the tournament record or debate, you know, record debate rounds or screen capture any participants. Personal recording is strictly prohibited. Please do not capture other people, do not screen capture. Only the organizing committee is going to screen capture when necessary. Please do not record, do not screen capture. And I also know that like parents and teachers are also in the technical run. Do not monitor students with CCTV. Do not, please do not do that. Please do not monitor kids. Just please let them do debate when they have to do so. So please do not monitor. Do not capture, do not record, okay? So we already told you that no coaches are allowed, no observers are allowed with the debaters starting from motion release until the end of adjudicators oral feedback. So when teams are in these individual rooms, please make sure that the door is locked so there is no mistake found, okay? So please do not enter the room when the kids have moved to individual Zoom debate rooms. Lastly, team members should not unmute their microphones for any verbal debate reactions. If you want to say here, here, you can do it, but keep the microphone on mute, okay? Clapping, hitting the desk, it's possible, but make sure that your microphones are on mute. Now we're gonna move on to the between rounds. So we've already uh, mentioned so many rules regarding debates, right? But during breaks, you're allowed to do a lot of other things. So during break, you're allowed to move out of the camera angle, take rest, go to bathrooms. Please go to bathrooms during break time. Okay, so that's, that is all possible in break time. If you want to eat snacks, you can have snacks. If you want to have drink something, you can during break time. But when you start prepping and when you start debating, Please make sure that you follow the rules. Please do not eat snacks in prep time or debate time. Please do that all in break times. In the end of the round, teams exit their Zoom debate rooms and they return to Zoom main halls, okay? So after the debate is over, after you got 
your oral adjudication, you're going to move back to the Zoom main hall. After round three, the prelims, and after round four of the break rounds, you can leave. So debaters do not need to stay in one place. It's not mandatory for teams to come back for break announcements and closing ceremony. If you wish to, we ask you to go to your rooms, your houses. You don't have to be with your team members. A Zoom link will be open to everyone. So you can access the break announcements and closing ceremony. And the sixth, there are some etiquettes to follow. So as is written in the rule book, there is this code of conduct. So rude gestures or foul language or discriminatory acts. But this is not only possible in the place of the championship. The same rule applies when teams engage in communications online, okay? So any rude gestures or foul language or rude words to the organizing committee will result in violators being immediately ejected from the championship. We are very firm about this. So when you email to the organizing committee, when you file a complaint form, when you're in the Kakao to open chat rooms, when you're um, doing one-to-one -one open chat with me, the tournament director, or when you're chatting in Zoom chats or Zoom meetings, please be sure that you follow the code of conduct. Okay, so please remember to always have etiquette in the tournaments. And lastly, we all know that the COVID-19 situation is very, very serious. And I never took off my face mask, okay? So like everyone is already doing well, make sure to have your face masks in the tournaments. First, even when you need to deliver your speech, please um, just stay close to the microphone. Please do not remove the face masks. Have them always with you. And second, um, okay. And second, if you have, you know, like these sanitizers, please try to have the sanitizers with you. Please have, um, you know, spare face mask with you, okay? COVID-19 situation is getting worse day by day, and we want to prevent um, the COVID-19 from spreading. And because I see that some people are in classrooms, like some people are with their teammates already, Make sure that you take care of your COVID-19 preventive measures. Okay, so for this tournament to happen well, we ask you to follow these procedures. And we ask you to um, debate in your houses, not in public places, not really where many people gather. So please refrain from using those places where a lot of people gather, whether it's academy, whether it's shared offices, please try not to um, debate there. We ask you to debate in your homes. That's the best place and best, best place to stay safe. Okay, so some of more etiquettes is that in Zoom main halls, please mute your microphones. You're already on mute. Please raise your hand if you need to ask a question please refrain from using private chats. When you're in Zoom debate rooms, mute your microphones. Do not unmute your microphone to shout POI or say here, here. Unmute your microphone when your POI is accepted by the other team, okay? Also, if you need to ask a question to the adjudicator, ask it through Zoom private chats. And most importantly, please, please respect debaters, adjudicators, and organizers while talking, chatting, or sending emails, or filing complaint forms, okay? Just because it's online does not allow you to be disrespectful. Please respect. That's a very important rule that we need to keep for this tournament to be successful. And I see that many people have already entered the Kakaotic open chats. Only one person has to enter, so please enter. There are some teams in General League and EFL team that have not entered, okay? And if you want to ask a personal question about the tournament, you can um, click my icon, open this one-to-one -one open chat, and then you can ask questions or send messages. These are the contact information. It's already delivered to you. 
Okay, so you may um, use these channels. So this is the end of the TD briefing for now. We are going to have two minutes of break and then move on to the device setting simulations. And make sure you have A4 sheets that are clean. And always make sure to keep your hands clean. And one last thing, can you guys move out of the frame for a while? Okay, this is not allowed. You cannot move out from the frame angle. Always keep your hands and your body inside the camera. Always make sure to do that for both cameras, okay? All right, thank you. Hi guys, um, welcome back. Uh, my name is Jan, I'll be your CA for this tournament. This is Junbom. And this is Jihee. Um, we will be reminding you with some of the important things that we want you to observe for this tournament. And then later, we will be um, simulating also a practice in terms of using your individual Zoom link, okay? So that you have a better understanding in terms of what are the things that you're going to expect the moment that you go to your individual debate room, okay? So um, the thing that we we're going to discuss now may have been covered by Ju Hyung a while ago, but we want to emphasize this just to make sure that we run the tournament smoothly. Okay, so let's share some PowerPoint slides so you know everyone would be on the same page. All right. Okay. Okay. So first thing, can we move on to the first slide? Uh, all right, yeah. So this is regarding making sure that no one gets to be accused of cheating, okay? So despite the fact that this is an online tournament, we need to make sure that you do not use the internet or on any other communication devices, okay? So as for normal rules in terms of YTN hubs debating, if you need to refer to a you know document, in order to assist you in preparation, you can only use two almanacs and two dictionaries, okay? So as much as possible, we don't want you to use the internet. Do not touch your keyboards, your mouse during preparation time to avoid getting accused that you are cheating, okay? Also, in terms of timing the preparation time, as well as your speeches, make sure to use a single functioning, you know, stopwatch, okay? So no cellular phones, no other devices um, that you can use, but just a single functioning stopwatch, okay? So this is to make sure that, you know, we make everyone comfortable that we and our opponents are actually debating properly and preparing properly, that we are not, um, you know, accused or we are not in a situation where you know some people might feel uncomfortable that you may or may not be cheating. So as much as possible, um, when preparation starts, you know your phone should be away, your tablet should be away. It's supposed to be your two laptops capturing your preparation time only. Okay, and when you wanna speak, just use a single functioning digital stopwatch. All right. Okay, let's move on to the next um, slide. Okay. Hi. Hi everyone, my name is Jihee. I'm one of your DCAs for this tournament. I'm going to be talking about recordings and videos that we have to follow, uh, rules that we have to follow for recording and videos. Um, Chiang already mentioned this, but the reason we're repeating this is because it's extra, extra important. So um, we are not allowing, we prohibit um, any debaters from um, recording the debate rounds or screen capturing any participants at any point of the tournament. Personal recording is strictly prohibited. This also includes people recording their own speeches because we don't want anyone recording themselves or their opponents or their teammates during this tournament. This is very important because we have, we don't want any issues regarding um, screen captures or recordings to be happening. The grand finals of both the general and EFL league will be recorded and shared on the YTN website after the competition is, or, is over. So please um, check the YTN website after the competition is over if you would like to watch the grand final rounds for both general and EFL leagues. 
So um, participants for the grand finals do not um, don't be worried that um, your like debate is going is not going to be recorded. We will record them. So um, for any other part of the tournament or for any other point of the tournament, please make sure that you don't record yourselves or take videos. Um, also, Jan said before that it was two almanacs and two dictionaries. Um, middle school only allows for one of each. So for all the participants, it's one almanac and one dictionary. So please keep that in mind. Right. I'm sorry about that. That was supposed to be for <laughs> elementary, not middle school. Okay. So again, in terms of almanac, that's supposed to be just one almanac and one dictionary. All right. All right, hi, my name is Chun Bum. Um, I'm also your, the other DCA for this middle school tournament. Uh, I'm going to address a very important issue regarding raising POIs because this may be a little complex, but nonetheless, um, we, all can, uh, we all can follow the rule. Um, so in terms of regarding a POI, POI is undeniably a very, very important part of the debate. Um, to raise a POI, debaters must ra uh, raise or wave their hands toward the camera. So you don't unmute your mic on your own at any times. Even when you want to raise a POI, you must raise or wave your hand at the camera with your microphone off. Since there will be podium camera, they'll be prepared for all teams, the speaker should be able to see the opposing team raising a POI through the podium camera that they are speaking to. Therefore, all opposing teams should never unmute their mic, which can disrupt the opposing team's speech in the middle and just raise or wave their hand to the camera if any of the member wants to offer a POI. The steps are as follows. Debaters must approach the podium camera and they can offer a PO, they can offer a POI once the opposing team member who's speaking offer them that they are okay to uh, raise the POI when they accept it. Verbal POIs shouting out, shouting out point of information without the consent of the speaker on the podium are not allowed, it will be restricted by your adjudicator during the round. Debaters not delivering their speech also must make their microphone on mute at all times. The second thing is about delivering your speech during the round. One camera out of minimum two devices that we require all teams to prepare must be used as a podium camera to capture the face and the hands of the debater speaking. Meaning, on the podium camera, the only person who should be seen is the speaker and the paper and the desk that the podium um, that this particular speaker is using, right? The other camera, the second device that all teams must have prepared should capture the remaining team members, including their desks, including their paper, including all the things that they have on their hands and around them um, during the entire debate. It's very important that everyone must stay within the scope of the camera while showing what they have um, within their reach and what they have on your desk to make sure that not only judges make sure that everyone doesn't cheat and compete fairly, but also avoid any uncomfortable um, encounter with the other team or the judge or with the convening team um, with a problem. Um, if we can all abide by this rule, we can have this tournament without any special problems. We can make this debate more educational and constructive. All right, last. This is the last part of online debating rules that we are going to emphasize today uh, about de debate reactions. We understand 
that some teams want to react to your members' great rebuttals, great arguments, as well as your reactions to the opposing team's arguments. We understand that. But since we're having this tournament online, which has some limitations, which would eventually lead to interruption of the speech if you start to uh, express your verbal debate reaction. So all participants should not at all times unmute their microphones for any verbal debate reactions that could potentially interrupt the speech to avoid any interruptions to the debaters delivering their speech. There cannot be here, here, where they cannot be shame, or there cannot be an action of clapping or hitting the desk. This reaction is not only rude to the opposing team, but these kind of verbal reactions will hinder or disrupt the speech of the opposing team, which does not lead to a fair debate in general. So we urge all teams to cooperate with us, making sure that there is no verbal debate reactions at all times during the tournament. Thank you. All right, so right now, before we go on to our individual Zoom um, prepared, I mean, Zoom link, um, what we normally do or what we are going to do during your tournament is that here on Zoom, on the general main room and on the EFL main room as well, we will be sharing to you your matchup first, okay? So just before we would tell you which room you are going to debate, you will see a matchup here in Zoom. And then after that, just like what Ju Young mentioned a while ago, um, our tournament team would also drop this information in the open cutoff so that you get to see your matchups, your position, your room, and your judges. Okay, can, let's share an example of the matchup, okay? Do we have All right, so on the screen is a sample of the matchups, okay? So you would see who's in proposition, who's in opposition. So this, in, this document would also be shared in your open Kakao talk, okay? So check your open Kakao talk now. We are sharing this information and we need you to know which side are you debating, what is your debate room, and look for your judge name, okay? Because just like what uh, Ju Hyung mentioned a while ago, when you get all of these information, your debate position, your room number, and your judge, you need to go to the home page, okay? And go to find your room, okay? And then look for your judge name, and then after that, that's where the debate were going to happen. For today, um, upon um, you know, finding out your debate room number and your name and the name of your judge at exactly 3.10, okay? In four minutes, we need you to go to find your room and then click the Zoom link at 3.10, okay? So Junbom, G, and I are going to guide you in terms of what will happen in your individual debate Zoom link later, okay? So check which room you are in, who, who is supposed to be your judge, you know, like a practice judge today, and we will meet you in that Zoom link at exactly 3.10 today, okay? So check your Kakao message, okay? Look for the Zoom link and look uh, by checking your Zoom room number and the judge that you're supposed to be meeting for today. And this is exactly the same process that we're going to follow um, during the competition in terms of going through your own individual rooms. All right. So yeah, that's about it. So just make sure that you know your judge. And then in three minutes, we will greet you individually in different Zoom links. Okay. So yeah. Three more minutes. In terms of um, the camera in your room, he, she will also ask you to correct the angle of your camera. Okay, so for example, if your camera is not capturing your hands, okay, and your desk, then the judge is going to ask you to fix it. Like for example, my camera right now, my, you know, my, 
uh, the camera, not the screen sharing. You can only see my face, but you cannot see my hand and my desk, right? So if this happens, the judge is going to tell you, please adjust your camera in a way that he or she gets to see your desk as well as yourself, okay? So you need to find an angle that they get to see your hands and your desk as well as the members of the team. I think Ju Hyung explained this a while ago and we need to follow that practice, okay? So make sure that um, you or, and your teammates will be visible on camera and no one else should be in the room, okay? But only the debaters. If your coaches, your parents, or any observers are with you, just tell them that, oh, we are about to begin the debate, please leave the room, okay? And then it's possible so that you won't be accused of cheating. Just lock the door so that no one gets to like, you know, go in and out, okay? Because otherwise, some teams, maybe your opponents, might be uncomfortable if they get to see someone going in and going out of your room, okay? So that's the second one. The third one is that the judge is also going to ask you like, oh, is anyone want to go to the toilet at this point in time? Okay, remember, when the motion is released, as much, as much as possible, please do not go to the toilet so that you can be, you can avoid allegations of cheating, okay? But if you really, 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 really need to go to the toilet, do it before the start of motion release or prep time, okay? So again, um, to avoid this, the judge is going to ask like, oh, before I release the motion, anyone who wants to go to the toilet, please go now, okay? And then after that, then the judge is going to release the motion, okay? So motion release would be done on each individual Zoom link, okay? And then after that, the judge is going to remind you to mute all of your devices during the start of the preparation time, okay? And then the judge will remind to make sure that everyone is on the camera and there should be no other devices like your phone um, on your desk, okay? So um, when you go to your individual Zoom link, make sure that you put your phone either on your bag or away from you, okay? So that's the first thing in terms of the things that you need to expect before the motion release and during the motion release, okay? The next thing that I wanna talk about is after preparation time, okay? So after the preparation time, your judge will ask you individually also to introduce yourself, okay? So we are doing this as an audio check as well. And also the judge needs to know who would be first speaker, prime minister, leader of the opposition, deputy speaker, and whip speakers, okay, as well as a reply, okay? So we're going to use this time as a way to you know, get to know you so that we know your speaking position. And at the same time, we get to know and check if your audio is perfectly working, okay? And then after that, the judge is going to remind everyone to mute all of your devices, okay? And the only time that you're supposed to unmute your device are two scenarios. One, if you're going to speak on your camera podium, or second, if your point of information has been accepted by the person or debater speaking during that point in time, okay? So these are the things that we need to understand in terms of, um, you know, things that we need to observe after the preparation time is over, okay? Next, so, oh, why can I not move this? Uh, come on. Okay, after the debate is over, okay, these are the things that we need to observe. After the debate, the judge will remind everyone not to drop the call, okay? Meaning, when the debate is over, do not leave the Zoom meeting, okay? Stay here. The judge may take 10 to 15 minutes to make or to, you know, to clarify his verdict and record all of these things and send it to the tab. And at the same time, he, she will be preparing his oral feedback for you, okay? So just wait for the judge. And then after your judge delivered um, his feedback, you guys also need to um, um, provide him a judge adjudication feedback, okay? So Ju Hyung and the tournament team will be dropping a Google form in open cutoff so that you can do this. 
Also, since there is a silent round in round four on the first day, um, your feedback form would actually be uh, you, the judge is going to give this information, all the, uh, the, the, the decision in terms of who won and who lost eventually at the end of the tournament, okay? If you have any questions about the result, do not leave the Zoom link, okay? You must talk to the judge after the oral feedback, okay? So if there's something that you want to clarify or if there's something that you need further explanation, then do it during um, the call that you are with your judge, okay? So make sure, make sure that everything is clear before you drop the call, okay? All right, so these are the things that we want you to observe in terms of the things that you need to uh, go through and understand during the entire you know, individual Zoom link that you're going to experience from round one, round two, three, or four, and during the elimination day on day two, okay? So I think um, the process that we're going to use and follow online is quite similar to offline. It's just that we need to make sure that we can transition smoothly. So that's, what, that's why we're avoiding too much noises, and that's why we need to make sure that you know, everyone would be comfortable that no one's cheating or whatnot, okay? So I hope everyone has a good idea in terms of what are the things that you are supposed to be expecting during the tournament, um, all the rules, all the basic procedures that you need to go through in finding your rooms, doing all the feedback form and the camera angle so that everyone would be enjoying the tournament and at the same time, will have a good experience, okay? All right, if you have any questions, um, drop it in the Google form that we've given you. But for now, these are the things that we want you to understand and expect during the tournament day, okay? Now that you've gone through it, hopefully things would be smooth by next week when we conduct this tournament, all right? All right, so that's all for me. Um, thank you for attending this technical run. Um, it has been more than like an hour, close to two hours already. Thank you for staying with us, okay? Good luck, prepare well, read the news. I'm sure you guys are good in debating. So let's just have fun and learn more by next week during the tournament, okay? Have a good day and always stay safe, okay? That's it for me. Goodbye.